Today we're gonna talk about this ad and how I made it. So one day a snowboard company asked me to make an ad for their new snowboard technology and we talked a bit about the project and I had the idea to make to make it dark and very intense, to make it interesting for the viewer. So I booked a studio and talked to my gaffer. We planned all this stuff and made a pre-light session and the client loved it. So it was time to build the set and film the whole thing. So we went low-key and made the whole studio black and mounted the snowboard on a black piece of wood, which was also mounted on an electronic Lazy Susan. So let's talk about the light setup. As our main light source, we used an RE Sky Panel S360. I think that's the biggest sky panel they have. And we used it also with a softbox as a top-down light. To separate our product from the background, we used one Astera tube with a grid, so we can concentrate uh, the light from behind on the product and not spill it around uh, on our black uh, background. And we used two more Astera tubes from the sides, so you can see the edge of the board while it's spinning. And after our set was done, we used some flags to shape the light even better and reduce some reflections. And that's pretty much it for our light setup. I still have one thing in mind, which I want to talk to you guys, especially if you're a beginner filmmaker. You do not necessarily need this expensive stuff on your set. You can achieve the same look with way cheaper lights and setup. I work with these bigger brands and I have the opportunity to use it in my rental place. So I'm thankful for that, but you, as I told, you don't need it necessarily. So let's talk about camera setup. On this set I used my A7S III with my Sigma R2470 2.8. I also used my Ninja V monitor as my camera monitor and we had one Atomos Zumo recorder so we can change the light and see it from a few meters. And I also had a Penta Jib arm which was very useful in that case so you can move with your camera and make some very nice and steady shots of your product. And after building the set, we finally started with filming. It was very important to show the new snowboard technology, so we played with the lights and I moved the camera in different ways. And I also made some still standing shots, but also moved the camera a lot. And now I have the opportunity to, to choose which shots I will use in the post-production. Okay, it's time for editing. I personally like to start with my music and after searching a couple of hours I found this intense dark soundtrack. After that I always create a timeline for my raw footage and grade it a little bit so I have not to look at my raw s look footage and watch through all of my shots and get the feeling for my editing later. Then I start to select my favorite shots and put them into my main editing timeline and playing around, develop some ideas, maybe some transitions and start editing the whole project. And after finishing my first edit, I make some sound design to give my project even more life, as you can see here. Now we can talk about client export. Before I send my first edit to my clients, I always grade it a little bit down because my clients are not into filmmaking. So don't stress your client and take a little bit of time and grade it roughly. I think this will cost you the same amount of time as explaining them why s -Log is looking bad and that you will work on it afterwards, after the edit is finished. I also love to work with data burn-in so I can communicate better with my client. I put my time code of my timeline so my client can give me my exact time code of those shots which they maybe don't like or want to change. Then I export this project as a 720p version and stand by till I got my feedback. And after the feedback I finish the project, I make the proper grading and sound design and export the film for my client in full resolution. But as you might know there are like 12 or 18 versions of this project. <laughs> so that's it, this is how I work, this is how I make money as a full-time filmmaker. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my project, subscribe to my channel. 
I will see you in the next one.